How's my cleavage? Rolling. We're here at the ultra-exclusive Bolivier Theater in Los Angeles, where Dr. Lawrence Strauss is hosting one of his famous acting for TV workshops. For the first time ever, we've been granted an all-access pass. Welcome to the future of television. Shut the up. You shut the up. You shut the up. There you go. Come on. Come on. You shut the up. More power. You shut the up. 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 You shut the fuck up. Come on. Come on. You shut the fuck up. Come on. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. You shut the front door. You shut the fuck up. You shut the up. You see, it's in the reality world that you have to be ready for anything. That's why they come to me. Because I'm a teacher. That's what I do. Why this class? I just feel like I have a lot more to discover about myself as an actor. You know, get to the inside. For example, my mom has been on life support ever since the car crash last month. But I couldn't access any emotions. I, I, I had nothing in there. You got to access emotions as an actor. And so Dr. Strauss recommended I pull the plug on her. Yeah. Luckily the nurse resuscitated her, so that was all right, you know. But it worked. Dr. Strauss is a genius. All right, this is called Face Off. I need a location. Jared, why don't you help me out? The Empire State Building. Uh, no, a location more like uh, that would be in a reality show, you know, something like an apartment. An apartment. Perfect, okay, here we are. You're in an apartment, okay? You just found out she slept with your roommate, <sighs> okay? Not only that, but she's forming a coalition to get you booted off the show. You're pissed. So do. Ready? Make it up. You skanky <laughs> You dirty <laughs> I can't believe you <laughs> My <laughs> roommate! Who the <laughs> do you think you are? Yeah, 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 you <laughs> You and all the people you in this whole house. You my best friend. Yeah, I hope you rots in hell. You dirty harpy. You dirty loving. That was really intense in there. Thank you. One might even think it was real. No. I like to take a really method approach. It's one of the techniques Lawrence teaches us. And now, you've been studying with Lawrence for a while, is that right? I've taken the class uh, five, six times. Isn't that a bit much? No. There's always more I could learn from him. Look, it's like when I was in sixth grade, and they told me I had to take math. But I told them I've already taken it five times. And they told me, there's always more to learn. OK. Here it is, the moment of truth. The one you've been working on for months. Now I want you to focus, focus. This could mean your own reality spin-off. Don't blow it, make it happen. I will never betray you. How do you think it went? Were you in there? Did you see it? Isn't the point of reality to be spontaneous? Well, yeah, but you have to be prepared to be spontaneous. It's not like it just comes to you. People don't think that reality acting is real acting. Well, I've got news for them. They're wrong. She said <laughs> she would never betray me. <laughs> Elizabeth Hasselbeck. That girl from The View? Yes, but she started off at Survivor, but rumor has it she actually took Lawrence's class. But you don't know for sure. No, no nobody knows, but Lawrence says due to contractual ob obligation, he can't, you know, reveal information on his students, so. Is it true? <laughs> I, I can't say. This is because I'm black, isn't it? No, what? 
This is because you slept with Anne to form an alliance against me. Oh. You have something against interracial alliances, huh? Was the racial card really necessary? No. But like Lawrence always says, if you suspect someone is making fun of you, they are. And it's because you're black. Did you really say that? Never. Well, I reached a point where I thought uh, I would break. I had to do something drastic or else I would die. So I, I came here and um, I've been taking it one step at a time. I know. Uh, that's why I deserve to be on this island. <laughs> Do you feel these exercises really prepare them for what's ahead? It's not about what I feel. It's about what the audience, the audience feels for them. Have you ever heard the expression, those who can do, those who can't teach? Well, I can teach. Rumor has it that you and Dr. Strauss have a relationship of what you might call a sexual nature. Define sexual nature. Ah! Who was that? No! Not when I taught you! Oh, ah! He's overacting, run! If <laughs> someone's making fun of you, they are. And it's because you're homosexual. <laughs>